Hey everybody, thanks again for joining me on another episode of For Your Eyes Only, the only place where you can learn a little bit about your eyes and have a little fun at the same time. My name's Harbir, we're coming to you again from High Street Eye Care today, and of course with me we have my good friend, Dr. Einstein. So in this episode we're going to talk about astigmatism. Now I know it looks like a big scary word and it's a little hard to pronounce, but basically astigmatism is a type of refractive error. In other words, something to do with the shape of the eye which causes blurry vision. Last episode we talked about myopia or nearsightedness which had to do with the length of the eye causing blurry vision. But today Dr. E is going to show us a little close up of the eye model here and how the corneal curvature or the curvature of the front of the eye can cause astigmatism. So the cornea is the front surface of the eye, this clear dome in the front of the eye here. If the cornea is perfectly round or spherical, there's no astigmatism and light can focus in the back of the eye to one perfect point. If the cornea is a little bit oval shaped, like in a patient who has astigmatism, then when light passes through the cornea, it tends to split and cause a blurry image. An analogy that Dr. Einstein likes to use to explain astigmatism is that a normal cornea is nice and round, like a soccer ball, whereas a cornea with astigmatism is oval shaped like a football. A football has two different curves, one that's flat and one that's steep, and that's a good way to explain what an astigmatic cornea is shaped like. So because astigmatism happens just towards the front of the eye in the cornea and is not related to the length of the eye, it's possible that patients who have higher amounts of astigmatism actually notice blurry vision at all distances, not just far, not just up close, unlike somebody who's nearsighted. It's also important to notice that because astigmatism is only happening at the front of the eye, it's actually possible to have a combination of prescriptions, be both nearsighted and have astigmatism, or farsighted and have astigmatism as well. So what do patients who have astigmatism do to make their vision better? Well, pretty much the same as someone who's nearsighted. You can wear glasses, you can wear contact lenses, and you can get laser surgery to correct the front surface of the eye to give you better vision. So that's our little overview of astigmatism. Thanks again for joining Dr. E and myself on another episode of For Your Eyes Only. Don't forget to follow Dr. E on Twitter, at Dr. Einstein, and feel free to leave him any questions or comments that you have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Hey, Dr. E, who am I? <laughs>